world premiere world premiere i have not even posted a picture of what i'm gonna show y'all i got an upgrade done on the beast and it is fantastic man so uh i actually at this point in time when i'm filming this video i've already used this truck and gotten this upgrade a little dirty so i'm gonna cut to when i first got it done and then i'll be right back with y'all and we'll talk about what we did all right man we out here line x got the bed done on this bad boy on the beast Ooh, that more nasty boy holy cow well i don't even want to put nothing in the back of that mall boy <laughs> dang God, that mud nasty right there, boy. Yep. Hey, I'm happy with that. That look good. That stuff dry quick, too. Huh? Yeah, I see what that is. There's a hole over there or something. Gotta take a look. You see the what? Nice otherwise though, I'm gonna ask them, I'll ask them to see what they say. Man. It's a hell of a job right there. I figured out what that, that crack was, that hole. It's from when I cut this out, when I was having an issue right here with this thing. Before I fixed this the right way, I had cut a little bit too much. And that's, that's what it is. That's what we're looking at from the other side of the crack. Right there. It's all good. Let me show y'all where we came from. The part that was in here. That was the old one. Hell of a difference. Hell of a difference. That's a nice piece though. OEM Civic. So, let me go ahead and pay the bill. Alright y'all, drop a comment man. Let me know what y'all think of that. I'm really, really happy with the outcome personally. It looks amazing. It's better than I thought it could be. I've seen this stuff. Hell, some of my trucks from my old job when we used to order them Fords, they would already come with this in the in the bed. And uh, it looks even better on my truck than it does on those when they was coming in brand new. So it definitely exceeded my expectations. Man, I just, I like it, man. So like I said, I already used this thing today. Um, I had my ramps back here. I actually used this whole setup that you see. I towed like four or five cars today. But um, I was stepping in and out of here, getting them aluminum ramps out. And it, it held up. I gave it like 20, I think it was about 20 hours cure time from when they finished it but i had the ramp sitting right here and uh, as you can see it still looks solid it's dirty of course from me stepping all in it and whatnot and y'all know i hated to i hated to get it dirty too boy y'all know how i like to keep my stuff it pained me to put them ramps back there and be stepping in and out of that thing man it really really whoo i felt it but uh the reason i had to take that out i had to get that uh i had to take that plastic thing out and get the belt liner is because of this kit right here so 
I don't know if I showed this to y'all, but about four months ago, I think it was around October, I want to say, I bought this BMW uh, fifth wheel adapter. They call it the Companion. It's made to go with my uh, BMW gooseneck ball, turnover ball. Well, this thing was $1,000, man. And I couldn't even use it. So it's two boxes, two big old boxes. And uh, it's not put together yet. But... I think it's a thousand dollars and i couldn't even use it and the reason i couldn't use it is because the plastic bed liner those ribs in it was too close together let me go out here and show you exactly what i'm talking about so these plastic ribs right here are just too close together there's these little like one inch or one and a half inch rubber pieces that's supposed to go down in the slit that's in the bed actually i can show it to you right here so it has these pieces that lay down you know it's just two of them on each side it goes right in here well, as y'all can see, they're way too close. So I called them up and they was like, yeah, you're gonna have to get that plastic bed liner out of there. And I was like, damn, I knew that was gonna cost me a grip. So, you know, I had to do it, but it was well worth it. Well worth it, man. Uh, this actually cost, uh, after tax and everything, it's like six, it was like 16. So that's not bad. They uh, put my plug back in and what else did they do? Uh, actually did the tailgate, which I didn't know that was a part of it. I didn't know if that was, you pay extra or not, but it included the bed and the tailgate. Of course I paid a little bit more because it was a long bed. A short bed would be even cheaper. So I wanted to uh, use Raptor liner in this bed. This is 700's bed. But man, after seeing how that turned out, I may just get it done here because y'all know this is going to be my work truck. I'm going to be throwing all kind of parts and everything in the back of it and uh, use it at what it's intended for, truck. So I may get them to do this bed as well. If that one was 550, I, I would assume this is five or 450. I didn't ask, but uh, we're going to get that done. But man, I recommend it, y'all. I recommend it. And the crazy thing is the red bed out there, um, has a reddish bed liner in it from the same brand linex so that's it just wanted to show y'all that man let y'all see that and uh you can't really tell right now i mean it still looks good but when it was fresh when i first picked it up when i shot that video oh my god it was amazing man so that's it i'm uh check out i don't know if this is gonna be a video by itself or it's gonna be some other stuff in the video with it but Hope y'all enjoyed it. As always, man, y'all like, share, subscribe. We're going to holler at y'all later on. Peace! There we go, y'all. We got that thing figured out. Took me a little time. A couple of the smaller items was a little confusing, but it's done. Uh, I do have to tighten some bolts with a torque wrench, but I just wanted to get it together, get it out of the boxes, and see how it would look, get familiar with it. So, it's pretty good, man. It's not ready to use just yet. Um, because like i said i bought this thing so i can haul some campers there's uh campers on the load board sometimes that need to be moved short distances for big money and uh, i got tired of you know having to pass on because i don't have a fifth wheel set up so this is going to be what we need for that 
I'm going to take it out and probably store it in the shed until I can switch my trailers over to a kingpin. So, of course, that's the gooseneck ball I used to use. And let me show you, let me go ahead and show you what has to change to be able to use a fifth wheel. So, from what I've been reading, you can take this gooseneck setup out and you can replace it with a fifth wheel kingpin setup. I can do that on both trailers and I'll be able to use that companion for a time. I mean, that's a thousand dollar piece and I want to say it's safer. Uh, I haven't really done the research on fifth wheel versus gooseneck, but I would like to think that it's safer. I don't know right now. I need to do the research and see. Drop a comment if y'all know what's safer, gooseneck or fifth wheel. So now that I have that thing set up, man, we'll be good to go. If I go ahead and change my trailers over, then I can use this thing all the time. Now, if I do need to move a gooseneck trailer for whatever reason, sometimes you do see gooseneck trailers on the load boards that need to be moved. Then you just take this thing apart in two pieces. You got the top piece, then you got the base. Slide it to the front of the bed, put my gooseneck ball back in, and then I can haul a gooseneck trailer at that point. So I just wanna be that one-stop shop. Y'all know what I say all the time. And uh, I'm getting I'm getting closer to that with this uh, piece right here. So I'm just glad to have it out the box, man. Five months, let me see. October, I think I got this thing in October. November, December, January, February, March. Oh, six months. Six months going on, seven months this thing been in the box. So $1,000 for that. And basically 600 for the uh, Line X bed liner. So uh, $1,600 project right here, but it's well worth it. Hopefully I can uh, make some money with it real soon and get it back. But I'm happy with it, you know. Let's uh, wrap this up, man. I don't have nothing else to do. I just gotta clean my tools up and uh, we good to go. So hopefully y'all enjoyed that video, man. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll holler y'all later on. Peace!